going through like a really bad breakout inflations on pimples and scarring so i already washed my face so i'm just gonna moisturize of course i feel like the key to like really really beautiful makeup is like having a really nice soft and hydrated skin underneath so this one's nothing special i literally just got it from walmart but i'm willing to invest in like a really good hydrating um like maybe more expensive i don't know higher end moisturizer but like i'm not really well versed in that so if anyone knows any that's good for like dry to dry to oily combo skin please comment down below like i'm very open to any suggestions and trying out something new all right we are feeling nice and hydrated Lately, the way that I've been doing my makeup is no foundation and just concealer. I think it looks better. I don't know. Like, it looks less cakey on me. Concealer that I use is the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. And this is so good. Like, the formula is so creamy and hydrating. So, what I'll do is, like, I'll go right underneath my eye like this. And I'll put it on any of scarring or pimples that I have. Right now, it's looking a little bit lighter than my skin because I'm still pretty tan from Punta Cana, but it's not that bad. I don't go underneath my chin too because I have a lot of like dark discoloration underneath my mouth. And then I'll go around my nose also and on my forehead. So this is like what my outline will generally look like. And I let it sit for a good minute. Like, that's what I learned recently on, like, TikTok, makeup TikTok, is, like, you really gotta let things sit if you really want, like, higher coverage, which is, like, the more you know. That's crazy, right? So, I've let it sit for, like, three to four minutes. I could have gone longer, but I'm starting to get impatient, so. I like to spray my face, like, every step of makeup that I do because I feel like it just makes everything more blendable. I don't know. And I already dampened my beauty blender, and I'm just gonna start blending like so. This is already like my second um, bottle of the product. Oh my goodness, we'll probably use this till I die. It's so good. I basically use it all over my face, <laughs> so it would. It's basically acting as like a foundation for me, but I don't know, like a lot of the foundations, it just tends up, it ends up being like, always being kind of like thick and cakey. And then like within just a couple hours, within the day, it turns so oily. So as we can see, it's a little bit lighter than my skin right now, but nothing that we can't fix with a good old bronzer. All right, now that we got our base down, I'm going to go in with... The Fit Me Maybelline Concealer. This is also really good. If you're looking for an affordable drugstore concealer, I highly recommend this. It's so good. This is like my third bottle. And this is in the shade 22 because this is my highlight shade. And I just like to do this to my eyes because it really gives me like a snatched eye. Like snatched by the gods. And then I, once again, we're going to let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit. I used to blend up my concealer with a beauty blender, but I've really been loving blending it out with a brush. I feel like I just get more precision with it, you know? So I'll just tap out a little bit of the bottom like that. Not completely blending it, but just getting started, you know? And I'll bring it to like my nose just ever so slightly. This is how far along I like to go just to blend it for now. Okay, I'm not gonna leave it like this. Just to let the really under part just sit a little bit more. And then meanwhile, I'm gonna start cream contouring my, my cheekbones. I use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I'll just do soft, soft taps like this. I like to apply it 
just a bit above my cheekbones because it really helps accentuate your like a more like a lifted look. This has definitely been sitting for enough time. We're just going to fully blend it out now. Like so. Oh, I love this concealer. And then after that, to finish off the cream products, I'm going to go in my absolute favorite blush of all time. It's the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. And I love it in the shade Happy. Especially for like my tan skin. It gives me the perfect light pink blushing from within look, you know? Oh my goodness. I like the really over flushed look. Over there, just over like the temples of my cheek. I'm gonna set my under eyes and with the Laura Mercier baking powder, translucent baking powder. So I dipped it in there with like a powder puff and I'll just dab the excess in my hand like that and I'll just press it into my under eye like that. Just focusing on pressing it into the skin. gives me like a really airbrushed finish it looks very seamless all the lines are like not harsh and looks blended out and of course since we just like powdered all over our face i like to soda it in with setting spray and now we're gonna go in with our powder products and i usually do my eyebrows last but i feel like they need to be done now so we're gonna do this right now can we give an applause to her? The Refi Brow Gel, like, I thought it was so overhyped, but it's actually... People are onto something. Yeah, they're onto something. Like, it's actually so good. So, I like to just, like, do light strokes like that. Nothing too heavy, because I find that if I do too much, it starts pilling. And you can see, like, the white gel, so I don't like to put too much. Either way, this is the only gel ever that I've ever used that's actually held my eyebrows in place. It's actually crazy. For underneath my eyebrows, I'll take the Maybelline concealer again. And before, I would just take like the wand and draw it underneath my eyebrow, but that was literally so crazy. And I find that little literally just does go a long way. Like this is all I need. I'm just using a flat brush like this literally does the job so perfect for my bronzer i just go in with a becca bronzer i'm not really sure what shade it is this is like a beautiful like deep not really deep but like and this is very pigmented oh my goodness so I'm going to be very light with my hand. I have my Fit Me Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. And I'll just focus it on the inner part. Like so. Like that. And honestly, that's all you need. I think I'm just going to wing it out. Just to do the whole pizzazz. But yeah. For nose contour, I don't really do anything crazy. I just go in with my powdered bronzer. And I'll take like an eyeshadow brush. And I don't like it to be too intense. I'll go in very lightly underneath the tip of my nose like that. So I like to create like a button. So around the tip of my nose. And then I love doing this sometimes because in flash photos, it gives me the most beautiful like yellow tone highlight under eye look. Like it's so pretty. I've really been loving cream highlighter lately because I feel like it just gives it that 
natural skin glowing from within look like it doesn't look like powdery as some like powder highlights do and i just like to blend it along my cheekbone and temples like that sometimes bringing it all the way up to my eyebrow like so the last point where i like to put it is the tip of my nose like so oh a lot and then this exclamation part basically like an exclamation mark and basically i have my lashes left and i'll just do that off camera real quick because i need like 100 percent focus on my lashes and i'll come back it's ad roll cat here i just wanted to take a quick minute of today's video to talk about our sponsor this sponsor is Rose Forever and they are a New York based brand that delivers and creates high quality luxury non perishable roses. Like, are you kidding me? You can have these babies in your room for a year and it won't perish, it won't wilt, it won't change color, it'll stay perfectly just like this. Isn't that crazy? They use natural oils to preserve it and they also use a vegan material for the boxes and the pigmentation of the roses, which I think is great. They have so many options with the designs, they have heart shapes, they have domes, they have circles, they have squares and the colors of roses for a girlfriend for your best friend, for your boss, for your coworker, literally anybody. I feel like this is such a great expression of love to anybody that you care for. I'll put the link down to their website in my description box and with a $25 off coupon with my discount code, which I'll also put right here. So I highly suggest you guys get on it because Mother's Day is right around the corner. Other than that, thank you so much Rose Forever for sponsoring today's video. Put my lashes on and these are the Chlori Beauty goddess lashes i get these from like my local beauty store and i love getting lashes from there because they have such a nice quality lashes for like six seven dollars because tell me why i usually get my lashes from walmart but now they're like nine ten dollars eight dollars like what this eyelash is like a little wonky but you know what it's fine now for the finishing touch i go in with my everyday lip liner and it's the revlon color stay long wear lip liner in the shade sienna okre 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 and it's like the perfect like nudish reddish pinkish like color for my skin tone so i like to go in i don't really overline unless it's my bottom lip sometimes i like to overline my bottom lip and sometimes I overline my cupid's bow. Like so. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is basically the whole look, guys. I do this makeup for almost everything, any occasion, because it's just so... It's foolproof. Like, it looks good every single time. So yeah, don't have to, but I like to go on with a gloss. My go-to is like the Fenty Beauty um, Fenty Glow one. It's so perfect for any skin tone, and I just dab it in the center. She cute. She never fails. This makeup routine is foolproof. I'm not really a beauty guru, but take what you will. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.